Hello everyone. Welcome to the 21st Century Thoroughbred. Today we will look at the Gotham Stakes at Aqueduct Racecourse. We're highly motivated. We'll go to the starting gate this Saturday as the 8 to 5 morning line favorite. Post time for the race is 5.07 p.m. Eastern Time. My name is Calvin Carter and I am the owner of Classic Champion Thoroughbreds LLC where I work as a bloodstock consultant. In addition to my bloodstock work, I also blog about the two and three year olds on the Triple Crown Trail. If you are racing thoroughbreds, classic champion thoroughbreds can help owners and trainers spot their horses in stakes races where they will have the most success by analyzing the profiles of all the horses entered in the race. If you're buying horses at auction, classic champion thoroughbreds can provide clients with a detailed analysis of horses at the sale. Or if you already have a team in place to evaluate the confirmation and physicals of sale horses, classic champion thoroughbreds can provide you with a list of horses that have the top classic champion thoroughbred profile and best breeding to be a successful racehorse. For more information, you can contact us at our website or call us toll free at 844-346-2223. Now let's take a look at the Gotham Stakes. Here you see a list of horses that have the classic champion thoroughbred profile ranking Everything I know about breeding is programmed in the proprietary Classic Champion Thoroughbred Profile. It's a powerful software that helps me to analyze the potential of thoroughbreds in breeding, at auction, and when racing. And one thing we discovered early on after the creation of this profile was that some of these horses with low scores were stepping up and winning stakes races on the Derby Trail. So we created the Behavior Index and that allows us to move some horses up or down in ranking. For instance, Freedom Fighter has a D ranking up here. Highly Motivated has an F. Here, Freedom Fighter and Highly Motivated are moved up to B ranking. Now, when I take a look at this profile ranking here and the Behavior Index ranking here, I come up with my final analysis over here. And you see I have Weyburn, Capo Kane, Freedom Fighter, and Highly Motivated. Weyburn has the best breeding of all, and he definitely has potential to pull off the upset. And whether he can uh, live up to that breeding remains to be seen, but he should do definitely much better as he goes longer. And as you see up here, the Brisnet Prime Power has Highly Motivated, Freedom Fighter, Capo Kane, and Crowded Trade. So that's my analysis of the uh, Gotham Stakes. I really like Weyburn, especially at 20 to 1. If he can pull off the upset, that'd be pretty awesome. And I'll quickly mention the San Felipe because I don't know if I'll have time to analyze that race yet. Um, one horse I really like in that race is Roman Centurion. At 8 to 1 odds, he has the best breeding of the horses I've analyzed so far and he definitely has the potential to pull off the upset. Another race I'd like to mention is the uh, Anita Handicap. Maxfield should be pretty tough in there, but there's three horses in this race that I profiled at auction, and that's Coastal Defense, Express Train, and Idle. So I'll be looking forward to see how well they do. I really like Coastal Defense to perhaps pull off the upset, especially at 15 to 1. That'd be awesome. But anyway, thank you for watching the video. If you uh, need any more information about our services, you can uh, contact us at our website here. And there's my blog. You can also call us toll free at 844-346-2223. Thank you for watching the video.